to understand shear force and bending moment diagram for simply supported beam let's consider a simple case here the beam is simply supported beam of span l r a is the reaction at point b and r b is the reaction at the support point b consider a point load w at point c that is at distance a from b first of all i have to find out the reactions so there are two reactions so i will get two equations one is r a plus r b is equal to w another is when i take the moment about point a so r b into l is equal to w l minus a so this comes out to be r b is equal to w b by l so from equation 1 and 2 i get r a is equal to w a by l so i just note these values that r a is equal to w a by l and r b is equal to w b by l now to find out the shear force i will consider axis x x at distance x from point b so i am considering right side so shear force on section x x that is between c and b will be given by minus r b now it is minus because the force is acting upwards so when we have the shear force upward on the right side of the section then we have then the shear force is considered negative so as i move from point b to c when i cross the point c the new axis x x that is at distance x then the shear force between c a will be the algebraic sum of all the forces acting on right side of the section that is minus rb plus w so that is equal to ra so if i draw the shear force diagram so this is my axis on this i plot point b c and a at point b my shear force is negative rb it remains constant up to point c at c there will be a step change and the magnitude of the shear force will become ra so if i consider bending moment so again i have to consider an axis x x at distance x from b so bending moment between point c b so now the bending moment is anti clockwise on the right side hence it will be positive so i will write it will it as rb into x so now you can see that it is varying linearly with x so when i shift this x between c a at distance x from the point b so my bending moment between c and a will become r b times x minus w into x minus a so you can see that it is varying linearly so when i put the value of r b in terms of w i get w b by l into x here also w b by l into x minus w x minus a so at point c from this equation i get mcb is equal to w b a by l from this equation i get 
m c is equal to w b i just put the value of x is equal to a so this is zero this terms become zero so you can see that in both the cases it is coming equal so if i want to draw the bending moment diagram so for this case mark the point b c or and a on the axis so bending moment is zero at b because when i put x is equal to zero in the equation for c b section i get moment at b is equal to zero then the variation you can see is linear with x so i get a line and magnitude at c is equal to w p a by l and it becomes again zero at point a so in this way you can see that the variation of moment is linear along the span and the variation of shear force remains constant along the span but it undergoes a step change a point load so now if a uniformly distributed load is acting on a simply supported beam of span l let this be b and a and the load is again small that is load per unit length so we have to calculate r b and r a so here r a plus r b is equal to w into l so as the load is uniformly distributed r a will be is equal to r b hence r a is equal to r b is equal to w l by 2 so i can write here w l by 2 So now if i want to find out the shear force in a section xx i will get an expression now shear force in the section x that is between a and b will be given by the algebraic sum of all the forces on the right side now rb is the force acting upward so it is negative on the right the load that is acting downward will be considered positive and that is plus w x so this equation will be minus w l by 2 plus w x so now if you want to draw the shear force diagram so make an axis at b the value of x is 0 so shear force will be minus w l by 2 so as x becomes l by 2 so the shear force will be zero so it is varying linearly so when x is equal to l that is shear force at point a will be given by minus w l by 2 plus w x is equal to l so it is w l by 2 but positive so on this end it is positive so at at distance l by 2 the shear force will be zero so now if i drive an expression for bending moment so m at x will be given by positive r b into x minus so now load is w into x and distance of section from the line of action of this load is x by 2 so that is w x is this load and its line of action is at the distance x by 2 from the section x so the equation will be w l by 2 minus w x square by 2 so here you can see that the equation of moment is parabolic so from here you can see that the variation of moment is parabolic with respect to x so if i want to draw the graph or you can say bending moment diagram so at b x is equal to 
x is 0 when I put x is equal to 0 both the terms will become 0 so moment is 0 so at L by 2 I get M L by 2 is equal to W L square by 4 minus W L square by 8 so it will be W L square by 8 so when at X is equal to L M at point A will be 0 so here you can see that the variation is parabolic and the value will be maximum at L by 2 and its magnitude is W L square by 8 and it will again become 0 at point A. So variation is parabolic.